trend bearing guided cutter range. They can be used for a variety of applications, like molding curved or straight edged workpieces, trimming veneers and laminates, copy profiling using templates, and accurate jointing operations. The bearing is often fitted to the end of the cutter, where it can run along the edge of a workpiece. Bearings can also be fitted on the shank or arranged on an arbor with other components like groovers or spacers. Bearing guided cutters can be used with a router mounted in a router table or in conjunction with templates or jigs. Trimming and profiling cutters tend to have the bearing mounted at the end. A flush trimmer will trim the surface layer flush with the core material beneath. They can also be used to copy a component from a template shape. They are available in different diameters, lengths and shank sizes. Raising the height of the cutter at regular intervals will spread the wear evenly over the cutting edges. They are also available with different angles. Rotor tip trimmers have the advantage of being able to rotate the tip up to four times, making them extremely economical for longer trimming operations. Angle trimmers are also available in the rotor tip range from Trend. Profiling cutters with bearings on the shank are also used for trimming and copy profiling with the template mounted above or below the workpiece. They are available in many different diameters and lengths. Some versatile trend cutters have a bearing on the end and on the shank to provide a choice whether the template is mounted above or below the workpiece. This trimmer has four flutes for an extra fine finish in difficult end grain. There are many different shaped molding cutters with bearings, such as rebaters, ovolos and roundover styles, classic OGs, edge molding cutters. chamfer cutters, radius and cavetto moulds, beads and reeds cutters, large panel moulding cutters, and solid panel moulders for decorating doors and drawer fronts. Basic shape cutters are also available with shank mounted bearings. Bearings provide precision and accuracy for jointing operations such as finger jointing cutters and profile scribing cutters for panel door frames. The bearing ensures that the depth of the groove and the tenon is consistent. The bearing also enables curved rails to be routed. Shims are often supplied to alter the thickness of the groove and tenon and are placed above or below the bearing. Shoulder scribing joints for door and window frames can be achieved with bearing guided cutters. Trend slotter systems. Here bearings are used with separate slotters, groovers and arbors, such as biscuit jointing with a 4mm slotter. The size of the bearing can be changed to suit the size of the biscuit required. Working from the edge with a bearing and a slotter gives a superior and quick result such as tongue and groove jointing with a loose tongue and grooving to accept edge inserts, window seals or fire door strips. Bearing guided cutters are used extensively in portable routers. They're ideal for irregular shaped workpieces as it makes molding the edge very easy. As with all routing operations, take a number of passes to prevent motor overload and improve the final finish. 
The more material being removed, the more passes will need to be taken. An ovolo may need one or two passes, but a cove cutter may need two or three, depending on the timber. Plunge and lock the depth of the router before engaging the cutter on the work, then gently ease the cutter into the workpiece. The side fence is being used here to ensure accurate start and finish of the cut. Often the finished cut requires no hand finishing. To prevent tipping, an offset base can be used. Or use the router on its side. Here a perfect flush finish can be achieved with a standard flush trimmer. Bearing guided cutters are also ideal in a router fitted to a router table. When using large panel raising cutters, reduce the router's RPM. Take a number of passes at increasing depths. A lead-on pin is essential to prevent snatching. Use a work holder on small or very narrow sections for safety. End blocks help guide the bearing to achieve the best finish on the end corners. Moulding long lengths of timber is often easier on a router table compared to portably. Often when the workpiece is not perfectly straight, a back fence cannot be used, but a bearing guided cutter is then ideal. The bearing can be used to set flush the back fence on a router table using a steel rule. Using a router table with a back fence and guard is a naturally safer working method. Normally bearing guided cutters are used with the bearing running along the workpiece edge. The surface must be true and smooth, otherwise any imperfections will be replicated in the mould. Often when increasing depths are taken, the bearing surface may be insufficient, so planning ahead is required. A template mounted beneath the workpiece will be needed to guide the bearing. When corner jointing, one face is used to trim the mating face flush. Or here the framework is used as the guide for trimming the ends of tongue and groove boarding. In certain applications, the bearing will be guided by the edge previously cut by the cutter. If moulding narrow sections portably, use spare timbers of the same height to give a wider support for the base of the router. A template can be used to create panel moulding in solid panel doors. Here a thicker template minimises any risk when starting and finishing the cut. The correct cut direction for portable routing is clockwise for internal moulding or template work and anti-clockwise externally. When using templates, it may be necessary to rough cut out the majority of the material first to save wear and tear of the cutter. A hole can be made to allow the cutter to be lowered through on entry. Always ensure that the waste piece will not move when the final routing operation is made, as they may be ejected out by the cutter when they become loose. For trimming applications, this template profiler is being guided by a batten clamped across the end of the door. When edge moulding in natural timbers, the order of the cuts is often important. Route along the end grain first, and then along the grain. Most conventional types of bearing cutters have the bearing fitted to a spigot on the end of the cutter. The high-speed bearings have integral dust shields and are secured by hex screws. Bearings can also be fitted onto the shank and are retained with a collar. Slotting systems use bearings which can be positioned anywhere on the arbor, together with any groovers, slotters, spacers or washers. Protective nylon sleeve bearings are available for solid surface materials used in kitchens and bathrooms. Bearings are available in a wide range of sizes. Aluminium rings can increase their size. Miniature cutters have small bearings, which are necessary when moulding into tight internal corners, such as letters for sign making. Many cutters are supplied with two or three bearings to alter the mould they can create. 
Some molding cutters will have the quirk removed at the bottom when a larger bearing is fitted. Rebate sets can be used with a number of bearings to change the rebate width. The rebate height is controlled by the router's plunge. Larger bearings are sometimes fitted initially to reduce the amount of material cut on the first pass. Try to minimize the amount of excess material to be routed. This reduces the wear on the cutter. This will also prevent overloading the router and a good finish will be achieved with a light final cut. When fitting bearings, ensure that the washer and shields are correctly assembled. Feel the smoothness of the bearing. When the bearing is dry or rough, replace it. When cleaning the cutter, make sure no solvents contact the bearing as this could destroy the internal seals. Ensure that the hex screws or grub screws are always tight. Remove the bearing when honing the face of the cutter with a diamond whetstone. Scrape off any glue deposits from the bearing surface with a plastic instrument. The versatility of bearing guided cutters means they're great for shaped work, but also reduce setup times and improve safety and accuracy in a wide range of operations. All these products can be purchased from trend dealers throughout the UK, across the world or online. See the Trend website for details.